Hey, hello. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius. So I just got done with Virgo, and now we're going on to Sag. So I have, let's see, after this I have Capricorn and Taurus. So two Earth signs left. All right, we are going to start out with... Let's start out with the Romance Angels for you, Sagittarius. How you doing? Okay, Spirit, we are reading now for Sagittarius. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's get it in. Okay, so the decks I'm using now are my Romance Angels. My Light Seers Tarot. I am. My Planet Cards. What do my, this is just, I don't even know what this deck is called. It's just like a Rider Waits little mini mini. And then my Rider Waits. It's just, I call it mini mini because it's so little. Look how little it is. Okay, we need four cards, please, for Sagittarius. <sighs> the energy is beautiful today. I had a raging headache and I didn't think I was going to be able to read for any signs. And then I managed to get my shit together enough to read for Virgo. So, I'm going to do Sag. Hopefully, maybe I can read for, maybe I can finish him up tonight. I don't know. My roommate's going to get up here pretty soon. And so, I might not be able to, I might have to wait until he leaves to, to you know, finish up. But I want to try to finish them all tonight. Because I want to start on January's new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. There is a rose on this card that is very significant. There is a rose. For some reason, I just, I keep seeing roses all over. <laughs> oh, Lord. That is very significant for me. I'm not going to tell you why. But <laughs> it's amazing. That's amazing. Ooh, we got free yourself too. Okay, let's get two more cards for Sag. Cheers, please. Thank you, spirits. Whoops. Beautiful. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. My beautiful fire sign. Then we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have you deserve love. You are lovable. Yes, you are, my beautiful Sagittarius. You are so lovable. Oh, my God. We got wedding. <laughs> Reel it back in, Sag. Reel it back in. And this is when you take it and you reel it way the fuck back in. <laughs> You're getting sleepy. <laughs> what the fuck? That went like from zero to 100. And <laughs> New love. Someone has stirred your romantic feelings. There is a male, a divine masculine. He's at this woman's feet and he's worshiping her. Okay. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. Free yourself. Okay. So here I'm going to give you the same spiel that I give, that I gave Virgo. You are not a fucking horse. You are a fucking unicorn, which means Sagittarius. Shit. I forgot to do my disclaimer. If you're under 18, please do not watch me because I'm, because I'm damn inappropriate. Okay. So it's time to take back control of your life. You are not a fucking horse. You are a goddamn unicorn. That means you are special. You don't just turn a corner every damn day and go, oh my God, it's a unicorn. Like you don't just see them. Unicorns are not. They're very rare. You don't ever see unicorns, okay? So you see horses all the time. Horses are plain Janes. It's basic, bitch, right? You're a fucking unicorn, Sagittarius. Okay, so it's time to free yourself and take back control of your life. See that damn fence that's surrounding you all you got to do is fucking jump over it okay jump over it be the unicorn that you are you sparkly motherfucker <laughs> i'm sorry i'm in a fucking mood today i don't know what's matter with me okay you deserve love you are lovable you are so lovable hug yourself mm. <laughs> hug yourself mm. see you are lovable you're so squeezy and Yummy. <laughs> and then we got this. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Oh, sweet Jesus. My eye hurts now. <laughs> Man, 
Take it as it resonates. I don't know. Maybe you're gonna, maybe you're gonna marry this one. Who knows? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Don't look at me. I didn't. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just the messenger. I am not the. No. I didn't make it up. Those are the cards that came out. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do our your rider weights. Uh, three tarot's. I got three tarot decks. I got rider weights. Um. The little mini card and the light series. We're going to do your Rider weight first. Oh, shoot. I just realized I forgot to do the career section for Virgo. Oh, my God. Oh, well. It is what it is. It must have been meant to be to not do the career section for Virgo. All right. So, we got the Hermit. So, you're not wanting to be around people right now, I suppose. Let's see. My eye is bugging me. What else we got? Can we get... Ooh, we got the lovers. Oh my God, there's something in my eye. There would be when I'm doing your reading, right? What's going on? What the deuce? What's happening? The hair. I'm sorry. Some of y'all are going to get triggered because I'm sticking my finger in my eye. But, you know, I've had contacts for years, so it doesn't bother me to literally stick my finger in my eye. I don't give a shit. It doesn't even hurt. I don't even feel it. Oh. Oh, Lord, what's happening here? What's this? It's a flyaway. Oh, it's dangerous. All right. <laughs> oh, my God, we got the lovers. This is... Okay. Okay, so let's just, we're going to recap here in a minute. Can we get two more cards for Sagittarius, please? We're going to post some more cards with the other tarot. Oh my God, what the frick are you doing? Wow, okay. One more, please. Oh my God, what is going on? Okay, so you have this beautiful energy of new love. See, we literally right here, new love. We got the lovers, okay? So, this is a divine partnership. I mean, the lovers is about, you know, equal partnership. It's a soulmate, you know, card. It's very loving, equal energy, right? It's a beautiful card. It's Gemini. It's a card of Gemini, right? And then there's this energy of fighting something off, okay? I mean, you got you got the freaking wedding card for crying out loud, which is in, in conjunction with this card and the new love. So it doesn't feel like a shitty union. It feels like this is this possibly could be your person, the one, right? Okay. But then there's this energy of wanting to be alone. Not sure that you deserve love. See, we got you deserve love. You are lovable. You got this energy of like fighting off things. Look, there's five of wands. It could also be competition, okay? The lovers can be the card of like trying to make a choice in love. Um, fighting off other suitors. So, you know, maybe it could be one or two things. You know, you could be trying to make a choice between two people. People could be fighting over you. And we got nine of swords. This energy of sort of being anxious, nightmares, fear, something keeping you up at night. So here's the deal. It doesn't feel like you're trying to choose between two. What it feels like to me, the energy screams, I want to be alone. I feel this really strong love connection. Okay, but I'm choosing, lovers is a choice, to fight it off and to be alone. But I'm really anxious about it. I'm dreaming about this person. It's keeping me up at night. I'm confused. I feel the connection. I feel the really strong pull, but I'm fighting it off. All right. So take that out, resonates. I'm gonna pull some more cards. We'll do hmm, let's do the light seers. Who 
Ooh, see if we can get some more insight on this for you. My beautiful Sagittarius's. You know, it's really hard for Sagittarius's to fight stuff off too because you guys are a fire sign, okay? And it's really hard for Sagittarius's or any fire sign to sort of put out the fire once it's lit, right? It's really hard. That's why this card came out. It's like trying to put out the flame that you carry naturally. You guys are natural fire signs. It's once your passion is ignited, it's like you can't shut it off. So that's why it's causing you such discomfort. It's like going against your own natural instinct to just give in to the fire of love. All right, reading now for Sagittarius. Can we get four cards for Sagittarius, please? Oh my gosh, you cannot make it up. I was shuffling and one of the cards flipped up. Look, they're all like this, right? And this card flipped out like this. And it's a heartbreak card. It's three of swords. I feel like the reason you're trying to fight this off is because your heart has been broken before. And you're, it's like that song, you know, by, who is it, Guns N' Roses, Once Bitten, Twice Shy. You're scared. Ooh, yes. Yeah. See, there's things holding you back from the past. Six of swords. But you're trying to get your life back to calmer waters. Can we get three more cards for Sagittarius, please? You're trying. Oh, my God. We got nine of swords again. Oh, Sag. I'm so sorry. The crows are going to be significant for you as well. There has been a lot of signs that I've been channeling the crow for right now. Two more cards for Sag. You know what? You just got strength, which is Leo energy. It just came out in your reading. So either this is your energy, your person's energy, you're stronger than you think, Sag. It's going to be all right. Oh, darlings, 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 darlings. Oof. Oof. Okay. Here's what's going on. Six of Swords, trying, trying, yearning. It was just 1222 on my camera phone. Trying, trying, craving calmer waters in regards to your love life. Okay, but here's this energy of, I have had my heart broken so many times. Screaming in pain, yelling, wanting to find that stability in regards to your love life, yet being so afraid to get your heart broken again. I mean, look at this. Nine of Wands, or Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords, twice, scared, crying, sorry, I'm not flicking you off, I promise, scared, crying, oh. we got the crows twice, crows here, crows here, that's going to be significant for you in some way, Sagittarius, almost drop your damn card, it's pain, and then look, we got we got strength, which is Leo card. It's Leo energy. Um, it's it's letting you know that you are stronger than you think you are. All of this tempering, all of this pain, anything that you're going through right now in regards to your love life, you it's all self imposed. The nine of the nine of swords is about imagined anxieties and fears. It's never real anxiety. It's not, I mean, it is anxiety is real if you ever experience it. I'm not saying, I'm not diminishing it. I'm not saying it's not real. It is very real for you. But what I'm saying is usually all of those fears and anxieties are uncalled for. They're just, they're just worries. They're not founded in anything. So they're not based on reality. It's worrying about things that you don't need to worry about because all of this stuff that's happening is for your highest good anyways. So worrying about it is not going to fix it. It's just going to create more worry and stress for you and more heartache. So they want you to be strong, okay? And, and they want you to get out of this energy. This is Nine of Wands. This is the card known as the Wounded Warrior. It's the energy of 
being locked up, locking your heart up, saying, no, I'm wounded. My heart is wounded. It's broken. And so I'm not ready to let in any new love. Okay. Yeah. It's fighting off love. We got two cards of fighting off love. Look, fighting off love, fighting off love. Okay. All right. Let's do, ooh, this card's upside down. Let's do four cards of these, my little mini deck, and then we're going to wrap it up and do your spirit message. All right. Let's wrap it up, spirit, for Sagittarius. Hopefully we can give you some... <laughs> better insight right now with these last four cards my beautiful Sag you know I think for all of my readings from now on I'm just going to do tarot because it's it gives so much insight into a person's um, energetic state definitely way better than the other cards I've been using I mean we, you can't make it up just when I think like you know you guys, if you think I'm making it up, I will pull multiple cards from different decks and get the same cards. You know, that's how I know I'm reading the energy accurately. I am an energy reader. I read the energy at the time, so. All right, we got seven of pentacles. There's hope growing in you, though, isn't there? Oh, it's, it's, it's growing. Something's growing, Sad. What is it? Is your faith in love growing again? Wow. We have the emperor. So you have some stability coming in. And I feel like you're creating it for yourself. You're working on yourself. You're creating stability for yourself. God, it's beautiful. Two more cards, please. Knight of Cups. Oh, there's the shift. Okay. Hold on. Someone's offering you love and romance. The Knight of Cups is the love offer. One more. That's it. Is that the Ten of Fucking Cups? No, it's a Nine of Cups. It's a Nine of Cups. All right, wish granted. Nine of Cups means whatever you've been wishing about in your love life, wish is granted. <laughs> we got Seven of Pentacles, something growing, a little flower of a thought, a little seed of hope. You planted the seed and you waited and you sat back patiently and you said, it was just 10.01 on my camera. So you sat back and you waited and you said, I planted this little seed. And now is it going to grow? Is it going to grow? Is it going to grow? Is it happening? And it's happening. Look, it's growing. This is the card of stability. Creating stability, but creating it yourself. Creating stability in regards to your life and your love life by yourself. It's creating stability for yourself. The emperor is a very strong masculine energy of stability hard work ruling it's a ruler card it's a major arcana it is like major king ruling energy okay so this is stability that you have created on your own Sagittarius you are a beast it's beautiful then we got the knight of cups so in the meantime see there was a shift. I think as you planted that seed of hope in yourself and you said, I'm working on myself, there was a shift that happens. And here it is. It's the Knight of Cups. It's it's opening up. It's allowing for the romantic offer to come in. It's this person coming with a cup and saying, hi, I'm ready to love you. And you... And then, you know, you being open to it. Look, open arms, wish granted. Nine of Cups is the card of wish granted. It's called the wish granted card. 
It means whatever it is you've been wishing for and trying to manifest, your wish is granted. That's it. Wowzers. Beautiful reading. Beautiful reading, my Sagittarius. So keep working on yourself. Don't give up the hope because your wish has been seen and heard by the universe and it's crackalacking and coming. <laughs> All right, let's do a spirit message and we're going to call it a reading. It's fucking beautiful, dude. All of it. I love it all. Okay. What do we got for our Sagittarius's, please? Let me see what time it is. 5.54. My roommate will be getting up at around 6. So I have to get the spirit message out right at the nick of time. We got it done. All right. One spirit message for our Sagittarius's, please. One spirit message for our Sagittarius is please, spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages for our beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you. The second house, your assets, <clears throat> your finances, and the things that you value. So again, we have this energy of creating stability for yourself. I heard my roommate get up. The second house. It says, the second house concerns the very real and concrete things of substance that you consider your own. Four, they belong to you and no one else. Such things as your possessions, money, income, and resources your body is certainly included in this, but so are your values or the value that you place on things. They are important because they are truly yours and you can control them completely. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat all of a sudden. Sounds like you guys got to work on your throat chakra too. <laughs> I'm feeling this blockage in the throat chakra. If there's something that you need to say, you need to say it. Oof. Just try to clear it out. We want these things to be permanent, stable, and secure. But if this area of life is implicated in the matter, either your security is involved or perhaps your poten potential to lose or to gain money. It may involve something that you own that is very close to your heart. Owning something affirms our existence, giving a sense of safety and substance. Our earning potential is important for our security, and this area of your life is important to you now. The planet card in this reading represents a part of your personality that is engaged in the matter, and the zodiac sign card represents the energy that's around you. Both of these could be involved with your innate potential to make money, gain possessions, secure something for yourself, or perfect the body. And you could have considerable success in this area now. Told you, Sag, you're working on yourself and it's looking really good for you. Another interpretation could be that of desire. Ooh. <laughs> and if this is the case, then you want to own or possess your beloved physically or lustily. <laughs> wow <laughs> I'm done get out of my house Sagittarius <laughs> get out of my house Sagittarius I'm done with you I'm done get out I'm done bye bye Sag get out of my house <laughs> reading's over <laughs> okay Okay, we're going to read that again. Another interpretation could be that of desire. And if this is the case, then you want to own or possess your beloved physically or lustily. <laughs> lustily. Pay attention to your assets. Yeah, I bet you'll be paying attention to assets. <laughs> I'm done with the cheesy sexual innuendos. Pay attention to your assets or somebody else's assets. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Okay. 
Pay attention to your assets, desires, and needs now, and you can assure the best outcome for yourself and your assets. <laughs> I'm done. Get the fuck out of my house, Sagittarius. We're done. All right. I love you. If you want to book a reading with me, by all means, please fucking do. <laughs> my prices are in the description box below my videos. Always please check out my son's channel. Um, if you have children, it's a perfect channel for kids. He does all sorts of like weird little vlogs and challenges. It's really fun. He's nine. Okay. Um, he goes by August the Vlogger and he's his his channel is the only channel that I feature down below in my um, description box, right? He's one of my featured channels. Please check out my Etsy shop. I got all sorts of goodies on there for you guys. Um, my newest creation, my third eye friends for kids and for your inner child as well. Um, my Lemurian love deck is for purchase on there. Um, for those of you that want to join me on Patreon, that's always linked in the description box below. Thank you to my Patreons. I love you both of you. <laughs> right now I only have two. So help a sister out. Join me on Patreon, guys. Help me to grow my channel. All right. And also thank you for all your likes. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your subscriptions. It's free to subscribe. It's free to like, guys. And it helps me grow my channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you that have done that. You guys have grown my channel immensely. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> That's how happy I am. Okay. Um, also, if you would like to tip me, I always appreciate all of your donations and your tips. My PayPal is always linked in my description box below. Like I always say, you guys, this is my only job. This is what I do. I'm a I'm an energy reader. I'm an energy tarot reader. So, you know, anytime you book a reading with me, anytime you tip me, that is my that's my yum 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 yum. <laughs> That's my bread and butter. That's, that's my goodies. That's my goodies. That's my cookies. Okay. So I love you guys. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Bye, Sagittarius. Get out of my house. <laughs>